on um, this one was today, October the 6th, 2024, 4,483 of the anachronisms. It's um, This one's called Extending an Arm to the Bleak and the Dead. More kind of darkish poems. A Selfish Endeavor is the subtitle, or colon, A Selfish Endeavor. And it starts with a quote by a gentleman that has helped me with this bleakness, I suppose. Damned and cursed before all the world, that is what I want to be, John Wieners. I'm fine, really. Not making any promises, but it's been a good day. I'm not a, in a bleak mood. I've been out a bit this past couple of weeks. I mean, besides work, Folsom Fair, Badlands, it's a dance club I used to go to a long time ago. First time in maybe five or six years. I'm just thinking about how John Wieners said, I try to write the most embarrassing thing I can think of which to me begins to approach the freedom I seek at times when I'm writing, but in a most limiting and flabbergasting way. I do love to complain, or one might certainly think so if they dug into my scribbles of the past decade or so. I don't love to complain. Maybe not so much at the beginning. How long did that beginning last? Depends on how you count it, I suppose. But it would have been 16 or 17 years if I started at the moment I called myself poet with any sincerity, one can shift rather dramatically. And that I'm counting on and working on. And I'm okay, truly. And I do not like to complain. I just do. It is not justice I seek, but perhaps a bit of fairness, equality, or I really don't know. If okay is what I am, or if I'll ever get another such shift. I guess if I'm talking to myself, I'd say, you're so much better. That's for sure. And I can, with confidence, concur. Depending on how I look at it, better than ever. But mostly, I mean, these have been fairly exhausting times. As compared with the times that were so stark in their opposition to these. And I don't mean embarrassing myself here. And I don't mind embarrassing myself here. It's one way to stay a bit humble. But when it feels like humility is all I've got, well, I can find other qualities. It's just that some tend to stand up and be heard, are louder and more demanding than the others. Interesting that humility might be that loud and uh, demanding. But what I really want is to, in the most straight-up fashion, tell you how wonderful I'm doing, or at least all the good stuff that's happening. And I'll get back to that. I always do. But today I'm reading J.W.'s Supplication, his poetry selection that came out nearly a decade ago, back around when I was blindsided by a stumbling block that I tripped over and didn't stop tumbling for quite some time. And as I continue to pick myself up and brush myself off and for what seems like an eternity, climb my way back into a familiar vicinity, I can empathize with and play the part of the tortured poet. Just not endlessly. I need my hope and my humor. Don't mean, doesn't mean I can't appreciate some of the best of us who so rarely seem to find much of either. But my heart goes out, it really does. And with each line I find myself climbing further and further up. And the, I end with a title at the bottom of the page. It's called My Hero after which I have this sketch that's in this book of John Wieners and the, uh, you know, the title page from its, from a couple pages in. Uh, it was edited by Joshua Beckman, C.A. Conrad, and Robert Dewhurst, uh, put out by Wade Books in 2015, I think. Thank you so much.